welcome to tamsguitar.com and we are going to take a look at the strumming pattern of a song called Sultans of Swing by a band called Dire Straits. So it was requested by Mr. Rohit Ghosh from Bangalore, my online mm -hmm. student. Anyway, so it has got a very tricky strumming pattern and the even more confusing thing is that the rhythm guitar player plays in one way and sometimes a few times when Mark Knopfler plays he plays in his own manner but the good thing is that the strumming patterns and the styles arise out of convenience so I'll be breaking it down into two ways of playing one is the original way and one is the original in the sense the way the guitar player has played and the other way is based on a bit of convenience so that everybody can play this. So the first chord is D minor, it's a bar chord and for this song you need to hold all bar chords. So D minor, C major, so in bar chord and B flat and A. Okay, so the way we are holding D minor is like this, the bar from 1st to 5th string on the 5th fret, 3rd finger on 4th string, 7th fret, 4th finger on 3rd string 7th fret and 2nd finger on 2nd string 6th fret ok so this is your B minor you mute the 6th string and then you go to C C is like this the bar you have to move it to the 3rd fret and put another bar a mini bar from the 5th string sorry 5th fret 2nd string to 4th string so if it's convenient to you, you can hold it like this also, the third finger, okay, and the fourth finger. And you'll see that my fingers are straight. So this is your goal. Eventually, you'll have to hold it like this. Initially, your fingers might look like this, but later on, eventually, you have to hold it like this. So, so you have to learn this switching first. And then B flat is pretty simple this is actually a shape major chord and a shape minor chord so what i mean by a shape minor chord is if you think that this is the beginning of the guitar then you can see an a minor or if i bring it here this is a minor so the shape is originating from a shape so that's why it's a minor chord so it's a shape minor chord d minor chord the shape looks like a and same thing when you are holding it like this the same thing happens you know instead of holding it like this you can hold it like this also so it looks resembles an a major chord in open position so these are a shape bar chords all right this is b flat on the first fret and then you hold a so instead of holding it like this because the song goes on very fast i hold it like this all right so it goes on like this first you do a down stroke then down up down very fast so down down up down 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 up down then up okay so down then down up down very fast down up down and up, make sure that you don't strum this down up down on all strings keep it here like fifth fourth and third don't go beyond it because it happens quite fast and you, if you take a longer distance you won't be able to cover it in time so the first target is this get used to the beat down down up, down up so gradually you speed it up So the feel is like this. Then after that, up, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Make sure that the speed of the down, up, down in between is fast. The feel is like this. Up, 
do it very slowly it's very tricky <laughs> In the last down up, you mute the strings to get a scratch. See? Down, down, up, down, up, up, scratch, up. So there is no other way, you have to practice it very slowly in order to get to the speed. Then when you go to the next chord, the strumming starts with an upstroke. This is simple. Up, down, up, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So for C it's up, down, up, up, down, up. So the transition between C and B flat is very simple, but it has got one part that you need to practice. Up, down, up, scratch, up, down, up. So up, down, up. Scratch up down up. This scratch is happening when you are shifting the chord. So up down up scratch up down up scratch up. Okay, and then we are going to A. So for B flat, it's up down up scratch up. Then back to the initial strumming pattern. So up down up scratch up. slowly let's join from the beginning okay so this is the strumming pattern the way the guitar player plays David Knopfler plays anyway so and now the easy way of playing, I've seen many people playing this. In fact, when Mark Knopfler plays, he also, he also does this scratch, but he does it in his own way of finger style playing. That depends on his convenience. Let us not complicate things. He played that way because that is convenient to him. So here this way, I think the way now I'm going to teach you is going to be more acceptable to people. So, so it's down, sweep up, up, down, up. That, that down up down, that triplet, one, two, three, we are replacing with a sweep. So we have to sweep it in such a way that down up down, the three beats should sound like this. Ta ka ta, ta ki ta, ta ki ta. The way many Indian rhythms are said, ta ki ta, one, two, three, or triplet. So down triplet. So. can instead of saying triplet or takita you can say something that doesn't mean anything but it will help you to pronounce the syllables and understand the beat so down truck up truck i'm saying truck so one two three one two three truck let's see it's very easy actually so don't think about the logical part of it what does it mean or something like that it will help you to understand the strumming pattern down up 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 down up down up up down down up up down so it's very simple down up 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 down up down and last down up i'm muting the string so this part is same up up down up scratch up down up up down up scratch up down up scratch up down up 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 down up down up up down up down up 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 down up down up up so down down see first down i'm not strumming all the strings so you can if you want so down scratch down sweep up or down Speed it up, you get the feel.
okay so if you follow it carefully you'll be able to play this is not very simple it will take you a lot of time but the key point here is you need to practice it very slowly thanks for watching and do like us on facebook and twitter where there are pages in the name of tams guitar and also mail me at info@tamsguitar.com if you have any queries and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are in need See you next time. Bye-bye.